Good morning, Esther. Hi, good morning, Ron. I'm, uh, my name is Esther Dobbs. I'm Guchin from Fort McPherson. My job here as a cultural development facilitator. How do we make life easier here for the students? What we do is we have um, a variety of counselors at the call in student services, which is right next to admissions. We have our stew in Bannock that we have on the first day throughout the month. We have Bannock making. We have a little competition in the evenings. We have sewing classes with one of our First Nations students that will hire on a contract. We have some short um, part-time jobs in the evenings or during the day after their classes that they can earn a few extra dollars. We also assist them in taking them downtown and arranging for them to get to their appointments. We have um, counseling services that are, if they're not comfortable with counselor here, we have a contract with the local um, experts down downtown. And we make phone calls for them to contact them, let them contact home. Is there another way they can contact home? There's a video conference room that um, we hook them up with. Um, we have an elder. Um, our role model was Edith Josie. We hook her up in Old Crow and she talked to her grandchildren. And we had uh, quite a successful program with that. Yeah, uh, anybody that's homesick or wants to talk to somebody at home, they just go in there and they can actually visit with their family on the screen, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we can also hook up with other colleges. If they've got a sister, say, in Grand Prairie or Edmonton, they can, they can hook up here and say hi to their cousins or their sisters and relatives. Good. Or the campuses around the Yukon, too, as well, eh? Mm hmm oh, And then we have the different bands come in. The chiefs come in. They... The um, Atlan Band, uh, Car Cross Band, just those as community as examples. They send people in during the year, mm -hmm. and we'll arrange for a dinner with them with the students. Do you think they should do more of that, Esther? Would be nice to hook it up to um, have at least one different band every month, so that all the students are covered, not just a select few that it's been happening with the past few years. Okay. Some of the main issues that we help students with is um, the admissions, the uh, procedures, the process of them um, setting up to come to college. In the back here, you see the resident. If one of the first things they need to do is apply really early, like in June. It's, um, the staff at residence start looking at applications in July. So if they don't have a resident, then I really have to work fast and look for help them with housing. We also, if they're looking for housing, private housing, they have to consider buying furniture and setting up. And it's hard to get a place now too, isn't it? Yeah. The, the accommodations is about 0% right now downtown. And very expensive. A lot of um, places, apartments and that for rent are starting around Seven hundred and fifty to a thousand dollars a month. So, if you want a college residence, you need to apply real early, eh? Mm -hmm. That's the three, that's the secret. Yeah. Okay. I say apply by June at the latest. If you're here for, um, you come in. We do have some families that will take in boarders, and that's a cheap way to go. If you can't get into residence, take a look at a boarding or a room and board situation because that helps you not buy furniture and. Sometimes students don't show up, they have problems with their funding or family situations, personal problems come up. So then we do have um, standby. So if somebody can't come, then their name comes on next on the list and saves them a lot of money. Okay. And then if they get an apartment a long ways from the college, then transportation becomes a problem. Transportation As well as problem. daycare and schools. Right. Okay. Daycares, you're looking at about $600 a month per child, three years old, five years old, is about 530 For daycare? So, for daycare. So that's a huge expense. To find a, someone to sit on a short notice is really, it can become quite stressful. And those are some of our, ch our challenges is that uh, we, we try to assist them to stay here, but if they don't have their, their, um, 
all everything set up then they will be coming to us and we'll do our best but sometimes it just doesn't work out and they they return home and so then they have problems with the funding if they come for a couple months and can't pull it together what they go home with is a big bill from funding that they have to pay back or they can get suspended for one to two years so it's really important that they get they get uh make sure they're set up to come and make sure that they apply early apply early and early we'll early. help them yeah okay um, in student services we have a fax machine we have phones we can do the paperwork for them for free yeah. otherwise if they go to other departments it costs them like two dollars a page so student services is where you come for help free What the small, teams, small communities can do before they send their students is have them hook up with us in July so we can start preparing them for coming to the college. We also set up tours April, May, June. They can bring them down. We also have the website that they can link up to and uh, check out the college. We have um, in September, when the students started registering, we see about 10 to 20 students a day. So we have more time July, August to talk with them. We can, um, we can set them up so as soon as they get here, we, we, have a, we, are, uh, we are aware of their needs. So yeah. we'll have most of the answers and the packages put together for them. During the year two, the first month, Student services will have a, a welcome and we'll invite them to our office and show them uh, calendars and catalogs and stuff from other colleges and universities if they're just transferring here through here in a few years. What's your phone number? My phone number here is 668-8720 um, is the main number and our receptionist Kathy will hook you up to the appropriate counselor that you need to talk to and um, Ron, is, Ron is here to help all the students from Yukon and Northwest Territories. He's a northerner. Most of our staff are, have been up north for many years, so they're aware of um, the, with the small communities and the challenges of coming to college. So welcome, call us at 1-800-661-0504 and ask for student services, extension 720, and we'll start working with you. And ask for Esther. <laughs> ask for Esther. If Esther's not there, ask for Ron. Oh, second choice, eh? <laughs> so Esther, any final messages, not final, but any last messages for students who are thinking of coming to Yukon College from the communities? Yukon College is um, very helpful in assisting students to come to the college, apply early, and call us on our 1-800 number. We're here to help you succeed. Students are our priority. So come on down, it's apply, and we'll be glad to meet you and assist you in succeeding towards your career goal. And we're lots of fun. Woohoo! We are! <laughs>